Jesus, what are you doing, Jane? Hey. Mike and Orvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. Yeah, okay. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't really done any major shit. Needs food or something. Don't have any baby food though, do we? Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. <laughs> no way, it's gonna puke. Like hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it's gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. It puked. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> ah, that's funny. <sighs> There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. It's gonna stop. Anyway, the truck. Dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. Five dead. The look on her face six was including him. She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Jane's talking to you, Clem. Bitch. It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. 
he got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them! Talk some sense in him. Um, come on, Mike. Just like for his sake. Jesus. He's gonna try and run away with me. God damn it! God damn it! That stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry. Just give me a second. What are you doing? Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. That's not how I intended that to Look, go. We got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. We should go. Someone's gotta keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. I wish Lee was here. Yeah, me too, man. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Yeah. She did. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. We can do it. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Okay. Come on. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. I don't feel like pe like Kenny's broken or anything like people have been saying. But I do think he has some kind of anger management issues, I guess. What's going on? What did I sleep through? Everyone's missing. This left me here, nice. Nice, nice, nice. What's going on over there? Mike. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. What the fuck are you doing? We're just leaving. Are you fucking kidding me? Now keep it down, alright? Nobody else has to get involved. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. What do you mean? Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? No, fuck you. What Clem, the fuck? Kenny? Damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. No, fuck you. What the fucking shit? Alright, Clem. Now I'm gonna walk up to you nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? <gasps> no! The fucking guy. Glenn, Glenn. Bonnie, we have to go. Don't you touch me. I'm I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean for this to happen. Where is Kenny? Where's Jane? What the fuck did you do? What did you do? Thank God Kenny woke up. That can't be the end, surely. Clem. Clementine. <gasps> oh, God. Uh, Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. There was no way this whole season was just a bad fucking dream. Oh, my God. I'm like shaking right now. What the fuck? What was it about? Duck? He's bit. Oh my god, what the. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. What the fuck? <gasps> Maybe this is just a dream. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. Maybe. We just gotta hope for the. Best. I just. I'm shaking here. Any other options? This can't be real. There's no way this is real. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. There's no way. Oh, that's okay, honey. Look, I'm like... You didn't mean it. God. There's no way. There's no way. I know. I hmm? Why did Lily... Do that to Carly. I don't know. Hey, Carly was just shot by Lily. Nice. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Oh my God. Because of her dad. Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Bad things happen to everyone, and it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Lee is alive. This can't. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? The feels. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even I'm gonna wake up in a minute, aren't I? That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do 
that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. What's real life and what isn't? I'm confused now. I'm gonna wake back up in the other reality. Oh, is that the end? No, I'm waking On up. On the left! Slow down! Shut up! Hello? She's awake. I got a shot right near my heart. How? How hey, I... you. Clam! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusty shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. <sighs> I, mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, <laughs> even if there is... <laughs> that was hilarious. It could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what. We can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from my cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking... Wow, that was uncalled for. I'm done. Games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. 
I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, We're gonna you crash. Son of a bitch. Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm. Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! What? That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. I you know if you guys liked each other, we could just be one big family. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. No, fuck off. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Please tell me that was Kenny shooting. It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit there. I don't want to leave Kenny. What the fuck? I'm out. Get out! Hurry! Jane! Jane, wait! Oh, fuck off. How much ammo do I have? Jane! That's Kenny in the background, isn't it? Is that Kenny? Might be Kenny. Maybe not. I thought because he was standing still. That's a walker. I hope. That was most definitely a walker. I just pressed R to try and reload. <laughs> Hello? What's this? Nothing, okay. Now I'm on my own. Popping these fools all over the place. <laughs> Why was Kenny gonna fucking meet us? 
but somehow I feel like I'm just going back to the way now from where I was and I'm gonna end up at the same place I started at. Let's just try going north, see how this works out. This is a playground. Wait, what was that? A rest stop, enter rest stop. Whew. Kindly stop for me. Achievement I just unlocked. Jane? Kenny? You alright? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? I'm sorry. Oh my god, the baby. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? He's... What are you saying? No. No! No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. <laughs> okay? Just trust me, Clem. I don't understand! You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Oh my god, I'm scared. Calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. Did he kill him? I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. Kenny, let her talk. I'm done talking, Clem. Clem, stay back. Did she kill him? Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck off! Fuck you! Stop! Please! Let go! Jane! Jane, fucking hell! Oh my god, no! God damn it. Did she kill the fucking baby? She must have killed the fucking baby. Oh my god. Fuck you. 
I think she killed him. That's why I didn't shoot Kenny, because I think she killed him. Because she said it was an accident and he said there's no fucking way it was, which means she must have done something like cut him or something. What did she do? What did she do? What did she do? What did she do? Oh, Jesus. He's gone. He's... Are you okay? I'll live. Will you? Because I feel like that is going to get a lot worse. No, you're not. You're sitting there. If he, if she's still, if the baby's still alive. Oh shit! Did I make a big mistake? Oh my god, AJ! Oh my god! I made a big fucking mistake, didn't I? He's alive. AJ. Let me see him. I thought... I thought we lost you, buddy. I won't let you out of my sights again. I thought that Jane might have killed him. I, I was thinking the same thing, Clem. That's why I was so fired up. She never wanted the baby around. She, she made that clear. Yeah, I, I guess, but... I just... Why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda, that was looking out for herself. It's all right, buddy. What have I done? Hey, listen, I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted to fight. She did, but I never ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. I know, I know, I know. You believe me, right? Of course I do. Just imagine what she did to Alvy. I... I believe you. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I mean... She was looking for a fucking fight, I guess. Come on. Let's put some miles between us in this place. She made it seem that way, so that's her own fucking fault. That's on her. That, that death is... Oh. Where's Kenny? Oh, thank God. You want me to hold him? Nah, he's still light. We're fine. Come on, I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> don't fall. Please don't fall over and squish the baby. <laughs> Come on, Alvy. We got this. <laughs> You cheated. Holy shit. We did it, Clem. That's... That's gotta be it. I... <laughs> I can't believe we found it. It's about time. You were telling me. What are we waiting for? Come on. Christmas. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. We finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. That's far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapon. Man. 
Maybe this isn't Wellington. Approach the gate. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. <laughs> Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. Hi, Edith. My name's Kenny. And this year's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. Oh. So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. The hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change you in a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. So we're supposed to just take this and go? But, but... We have a baby! This... This is hard for me, too. I don't want to turn anyone away, especially children. But... Just take the kids! What? Please! Just take the kids! It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, it's I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just... Ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. Oh. I'll, I'll ask. Just give me a second. Kenny, no. You don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, we're not. It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. No. We can take the children, but... Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance, for you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe, not anymore. Please, I'm begging you, please stay here. Stay here, where it's safe. No. You two have a chance. No. No, no, no. Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way for both of you. The thing about Alvy here, please Clem, just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. Good people. No. They don't have to look at you and feel ashamed at what they put you through. Please, Clem, please. Where you won't have to sleep with a gun next to you every night. Where you can be a kid for a while. No. We're leaving. All of us. I know. Together. Clem, please. It's safe here. Do you need to Stop. think about the... Stop. Okay? We're not staying, so just stop. That's that. Sounds like... Sounds like she means business. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Not after we... I can't just leave, Kenny. We're leaving. I'm only supposed to give out one per group, but... Look, if you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help, and, uh, sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. 
You all stay safe out there. Stubborn as a damn mule. <laughs> yeah? Wonder where I got that from. Oh my god. That one hit me right in the feels. <laughs> I gotta say, this is the best episode of them yet. This is the one that had my feelings, you know, this is I This one gave me the most feels. You and 56% of players protected the baby. Uh, yeah, I remember that at the start. You and 34.3% of players went to help Luke. I don't think I should have. Ask to leave with Mike. You and 75.9% of players didn't ask to leave with Mike. You and 51.5% of players didn't shoot Kenny. In the end, who are you with? In the, you and 23.7% of players are with Kenny. <sighs> I'm happy with that, to be honest. I don't even care that I'm on the majority on some of them. I'm happy with that. Jesus Christ. Well, this is fun. The thing that upset me the most was watching Luke drown. Oh right, yeah, no. One of my friends just messaged me watching the stream. Cause uh, for the YouTube viewers watching this, I'm live streaming right now as well. But yeah, one of my friends just messaged me saying that there is no majority for the last one. Which I guess makes sense, because you could be on your own. Or you could be with Kenny, or you could be with Jane, I guess. I think that would be the three options. Maybe there's more if like I saved Luke or something. <laughs> but damn. I just... Uh... It was fun. Luke's death really, really, really upset me because we had to watch him fucking go down. And he did it to save us. Save me, I guess. Because he, he got the walker. Pulled it away from me. I feel like if I shot the walkers, maybe could've, I, I could have saved Luke? I don't know if that would have, like, instead of going over to help him. I don't know. I'm sad about Jane. I didn't want it to go down like that. I would have been fine if Jane and Kenny came along, but that wasn't going to happen. I feel like Jane's death wasn't my fault, because she made it seem like she killed Alvin. That was her own fault. She brought that on herself. I mean, I can't really take blame for that, right? The Wellington, that's just a whole load of sh- Oh no, another ending, so you could be with Jane, your own. I guess if you're on your own, you'd be in Wellington. That's what I was going to say. The other one's Wellington. Maybe I could have gone with Bonnie and Mike, actually. Maybe I could have ended with them. <sighs> Bonnie and Mike I'm trying to leave. That was just not on. I was not having that. I called for help. And they came. I need a fucking nice long warm bath after that. <laughs> need to think about what I've done, the decisions I made. <laughs> I 
So let's just one last time go over my choices. And I'll tell you a bit about them and how I feel. Did you try to save Krista? I'm happy about that one. I'm glad I tried to save Krista. I wish we could have met up with her in the end, but I guess she probably got shot. We heard the gunshot after we escaped. Did we kill the dog? Uh, well, I'd, I put it out of his misery. I didn't want it to have to suffer. I mean, I know it attacked me, but it was just fucking hungry. Like, come on, guys. So, I'm happy I killed the dog to put it out of his misery. Did you accept Nick's apology? Nick was probably... He was one... I don't know if he was a m my favorite, but he was definitely one of my favorite characters throughout this whole series. And I'm really sad that he didn't get many lines after the... Episode with Matthew at the lodge and whatever. And then he just got killed off like that. That was really... You know... Really bad. Did you give what's to the dying man? I'm happy about that one. I thought he'd give me the information, but he didn't. And so I guess I just made his death a little... A little less painful. Even though he probably deserved a painful death. Did you save Nick or Pete? Now... I watched someone else play through some of it. I didn't watch it all. And they they chose uh Pete. And apparently you amputate his leg and then he dies anyway. And so I'm kinda happy that I went with Nick. I mean Nick wasn't infected, so happy about all of those. Took the for Sarah's photo. Um I blamed someone else for that. I'm not happy about that. I kinda wish I took the blame because I mean Sarah's my friend, I should've, should've took and taken the blame for that. Who did you sit with at dinner? I mean... I knew Kenny, and it was, I wanted to catch up with him. Plus the other people had just left me in a shed. Well, I mean, they helped. I mean, they helped a lot, they got me across the bridge and stuff, and... One up, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy I told Wolves of the Truth about Matthew, that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I didn't want him to shoot Nick, like I said, Nick's one of my favorite characters, so... That's that, I'm glad that Nick survived. So, happy about that. Left to find Kenny. I'm kind of not happy about that one. But at the time, it seemed like a good idea because... I, th I thought he was going to kill uh, Carlos. So I... Said to save him. Kenny was mad, but that's okay. I'm happy about all of those. Wait, am I? Is that all of those I'm happy about? Yeah, no, I am happy about all of those. Help Sarah with the chores. Happy about that. She didn't get the blame. I got the blame. So, that's good. Told Bonnie about Luke. I'm glad I told Bonnie. Bonnie became trustworthy over the course of the series until this last episode when she tried to leave. Until now, I really liked Bonnie. But then she tried to do that and that shit was just not on. So... Is that admitted to stealing the walkie talkie? I didn't mean to try to hide it, I tried to take blame for it. So I'm kinda. I mean, I said I found it, so I guess. Yeah, I'm not really happy about that one. Watch Kenny Gilcarver. I'm happy about that one. He deserved to die, and I wanted to watch it. That's all I've gotta say. Chop off Sarita's arm. This one I'm not happy about. I wish I didn't chop off her arm. I wish she could have survived a little longer. Maybe you see how Kenny reacted that way. Maybe he wouldn't have been as pissed. I'm not, not too sure, but I'm not happy about that one. Left Sarah at the trailer park. Definitely not happy about that one. That one I am incredibly unhappy about. Because you could save her, apparently. You could save her. And I didn't know that. I just thought slapping her with an insult to injury, and then the, they'll be like, oh my god, you slapped her when she was dying, and you just like left her there. <sighs> But I guess that doesn't happen. Uh, Rob Davo, happy about that. Even though I'm in the minority on this as well, I'm happy about this. Because fuck Arvo. Fuck that prick. Okay? He got Kenny and shit. He got. Even if we didn't steal from him, he would have fucking attacked us. So he's a prick. So let's fuck him. Crawl through the ticket booth. Happy about that. Got caught by a. You know, guy in there, but. I, I did what I thought I had to do, so I'm happy about that. Hold the baby. I don't know why you wouldn't hold the baby, but there's that. Shot Rebecca. 
Yeah, glad I shot Rebecca. I got praise for that actually, because she turned. Protected the baby. You have 56 point. No, you just you 56 percent players. Protected the baby. I'm happy about that. The baby deserved to live. I'm glad I protected the baby. I I think I would have got bad karma if I didn't protect it. Went to help Luke. You in 34 point three. I'm not happy about that. I really wish I didn't. I feel like if I shot, he could have survived. I'm so sad. Asked to leave with Mike. No. Fuck that guy. I liked Mike in the last episode. This episode, no. He was just on the wrong side all the time. He was an asshole, and I really didn't like him in this episode. I got to know his true colors. And, uh... He was an asshole. He tried to leave. I wasn't leaving with him. Fuck that guy. And he tried to steal Kenny's truck that Kenny got working, too. Like, fucking hell. Shoot Kenny. I didn't shoot Kenny. Kenny didn't deserve to be shot, he just did what he thought he had to. She, he thought she killed the baby on purpose, and so he just tried. You know, he was pissed. I'd be pissed too if they tried to kill a baby. I was pissed. And who are you with? I'm happy that I'm with Kenny. Because Jane turned out to be quite a psychopath doing what she did, in my opinion at least. Like, that was just not. Like, why not tell me what's going on even? Like, if she was like, oh, I. It's okay, I'll let him say if he's in the car. Then, you know, and she could have said during the fight, she wanted the fucking fight. So, I'm glad I'm not with Jane. Glad I'm not with Mike and Bonnie, because they tried to abandon Kenny in that, and they just... They were on, si on you know, on Arvo's side, and after what they did, no. Fuck Arvo. Fuck Arvo. Fuck Wall Street. So that's my opinions on all my choices of this series. I enjoyed this. I don't think it was as good as the first series, but it was very, it was close. It was, uh, I I really liked this too. <sighs> my favorite episode is probably the fifth episode, just because it was the one that got my feels out the most. I didn't really, you know, didn't really get too upset by the other episodes. This one though, this one had me upset quite a few points. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more Walking Dead Season 2. Bye, guys.